Welcome, Seeker. You must be the one Dr. John called me about. I uh, guess so. My name is... Wait! Gabriel Knight. You're too quick for me. Actually, Dr. John told me. You have come to the right place, Mr. Knight. Tell me how I can help. It's a large cluster of quartz crystals. It's an old-fashioned parlor lamp hung with crystals. A large, sluggish snake rests on the floor of the fancy bird cage. Apparently, Magenta is not a fastidious housekeeper. A shed skin shares the cage with its original owner. The mask is made of carved wood and looks African. There's a chest in the corner that looks like a carnival machine. Magentia's bottles probably contain secret ritual concoctions. The shelf holds a variety of unusual objects. The kind of thing Gabriel refers to as junk. A large crystal ball is prominently displayed. Magentia Moonbeam is wrapped in gauze and silks. She looks vaguely mysterious and mysteriously vague. She's really not my type. Could I ask you a few questions? Of course, Seeker. What can you tell me about voodoo? My practice is mainly selling charms and potions with magic power, such as Gree Gree and voodoo oils. You know, everything from unrequited love to wandering spouses to winning a lawsuit. But my spells and charms are powerful, and they work. What can you tell me about voodoo? Much of a voodoo Ian's work is protecting her clients from the spells of others. I make special protective Grigri to be worn in secret. They keep evil spells from working against my clients. What can you tell me about voodoo? The recipes for voodoo charms have been handed down from master to apprentice for centuries. What can you tell me about voodoo? I have told you all it is proper for you to know, Mr. Knight. What do you know about the voodoo murders? Why, that has nothing to do with me and my clientele. But I can tell you that you should stay as far from it as possible. There is badness there. Very bad. So you don't think the voodoo aspects of the case are fake? Fake? Let me tell you about fake. If I get information through the grapevine and make use of it, is that fake? No. That is part of a voodoo Ian's power. If people don't believe, there's not much I can do. But if they do believe, that is a part of my power, too. But there are things, monsieur. Things not even a little bit fake, I can tell you. Believe it or not, but stay away from it. What do you mean? Do you know something about the case? I work hard on fine-tuning my spiritual antenna, Monsieur Knight. And I get a clear signal from that direction. Beware. What can you tell me about Nolens? Nolens is the center of voodoo practice in the United States. What can you tell me about Nolens? It is a fascinating city with many dark secrets. What can you tell me about Nolens? It is my favorite place in the world. Do you know anything about snakes? Snakes? You mean like my beloved Grimwald? She's a python, you know. Quite deadly in the wrong hands. I was trained by one of the great voodoo queens to learn how to hypnotize and handle snakes. Tell me more about snakes. Oh, 
I wouldn't want to give away my trade secrets. What's the significance of St. John's Eve? St. John's Eve? It is the greatest night of the voodoo year. There is always a traditional conclave on St. John's Eve. Most of our voodoo churches these days hold functions in the church hall. But in the old days, they had ceremonies out in the wild. They wore animal masks and had a huge bonfire and dancing. I used to go when I was an apprentice. Sometimes in the swamp, you know, Bayou St. John. Sometimes at the lake, Lake Pontchartrain. Do you have any idea what Cabri San Carl means? No. No, I don't. Do you know anything about Veve? I don't know anything about that. Do you know anything about Marie Laveau? Oh, yes. She was the first of the great voodoo queens. Tell me about the animal masks. I saw them used once or twice when I was younger, but you don't see them much anymore. They're too... close. Too close to what? Just bad karma. Do you know anything about a secret voodoo houndfall? There are many voodoo churches in New Orleans, no? Yes, but have you heard of a secret voodoo houndfall? Wherever did you hear such a ridiculous story? There is no such thing. Do you know anything about black voodoo? It is the oldest, darkest heart of voodoo. Do you know anything about black voodoo? There are some things it's better not to know about, Monsieur Knight. Does Ogun Badagri mean anything to you? I don't know anything about that. Have you ever heard of Dambala? I don't know anything about that. Have you ever heard the word Shatnyega? I don't know anything about that. Tell me about yourself. Yes? What would you like to hear? How did you get into this business? I trained in the voodoo arts for many years with the great Queen Tabitha. Really? Who's she? You have never heard of her? For shame! I can see you know little of the world of magic. I'm beginning to get that impression, yes. What kind of people come to see you? Seekers after the truth. Such as yourself. Do you do anything else? I'm a voodooian. That is plenty. It takes much spiritual effort. How many voodooians are there? No one knows exactly. Many practice in secret. There are probably hundreds. But of course, the level and the power of the voodooians differ greatly, depending on their training and natural gifts. Tell me anything at all. I haven't always lived in Orleans. I came here from Kansas as a young woman. Tell me anything at all. I began studying voodoo more than 20 years ago. I'm well versed in the magical arts. Tell me anything at all. Many non-believers come to me. They are usually believers when they leave. Tell me anything at all. Dr. John sends me many seekers such as yourself. Tell me anything at all. I am happy here with my clientele and my snake. I can't think of anything. Very well. Dr. John tells me you're a voodoo practitioner of some kind. Yes, I'm a voodoo -ian, A voodoo priestess. Nice place you've got here. Thank you. For me, it's a sort of temple. I can see that. Do you get many people in here on an average day? Some days, the need for my power is greater than others. But I have many regular clients who would be lost without my vision, Mr. Knight. I can imagine. That's a great-looking mask on the wall. It's from Africa. A gift to me from Queen Tabitha. Do you know Dr. John well? Oh, yes. We are old friends. Those with gifts are often drawn together. So let's say I came to you wanting to attract a woman. What would you advise? I wouldn't think you have any trouble attracting women, Mr. Knight. Uh, no, I guess I don't. So what advice do you give your clients? I tell them to follow the light, be aware of the darkness, 
And always get expert spiritual advice from someone with the sight. That's what I thought you'd say. Uh, about Rimwall. What about her? 